On the 26th anniversary of Bob Knight's chair tossing, there are now two chairs in the very spot where he tossed his chair. I'm Cody Sher with Casey Richards. Also similar to that night, Purdue was in the building and it was a packed house here at Assembly Hall. It was really from the get-go. I mean, we had people camping out yesterday. That's the first time it's happened here at Assembly Hall. The general admissions section really also for the first time this year was filled early and it was just a great atmosphere. Even before tip-off, 30 minutes before the game, the place was rocking. It may have been the first time students camped out, but it was the last time that Juwan Johnson and Etwan Moore play in Assembly Hall. Thank goodness for IU fans, right? I mean, those two, it's scary to believe what they would be doing with Robbie Hummel right now, their, their, fellow, their fellow classmate, but Coach Tom Crean said that those two just make the game easier for all the other players on the floor with the things they do, Johnson inside the paint and Moore on the perimeter. Uh, those two make the game so much easier for everybody else. They allow people to play uh, over their talent level, and, and uh, that's what great players do. And, and those two are not only all Big Ten players, but I don't know how they both don't make uh, numerous All-American teams. The Hoosiers shot 8 for 19 beyond the arc, but it was the one-footers underneath the basket that they really struggled with. Yeah, especially in the second half, it was just IU getting all sorts of layups and them rooming out. Christian Watford, he led the team in scoring with 18 points, but he was just one of seven on shots inside the three-point line. You could tell that, that left hand was bothering him, but it was surprising. He's being guarded by a guy most of the time six foot five in DJ Berg, but still he was getting his shots contested, and he just couldn't get him to fall. You know, the ball didn't fall for it, you know, late. You know, you know that, that's just, unfortunately, that just happened. He missed at one point five one foot and in shots in a row. And uh, bottom line is, do you get good shots? Uh, especially in the second half, we did. We probably got more opportunities at the rim than we have in a long time. We didn't complete it, and uh, they did. IU had a three-headed scoring monster tonight in Christian Wofford, Jordan Holes, and Verdell Jones, combining for 46 of the team's 61 points. The team didn't shoot well, though, shooting only 38% for the game. You know, we've talked about Watford and his struggles. Holes really also struggled in the first half. He was just one of six, heated up a little bit in the second half. The Hoosiers had a little bit of a run, cut it to three, but they couldn't get over the hump, as Tom Green kept saying time and time again. We weren't as smart as they were. We had too many mistakes, especially in the first half, defensively. And, uh, and but again, we, uh, we couldn't get over the hump. Uh, when we were missing close shots and they'd come back and they'd make something. Uh, but they're a very good team. Things will not get any easier for IU as they head to Columbus Sunday to take on a tough Buckeye squad. And then after that, you got Wisconsin at home at Illinois on the road. It's difficult to see where another win for the Hoosiers this season is going to come. Surprising because things seemed really optimistic after those two wins against Illinois and Minnesota earlier in the season. That seems like a long time ago, though, doesn't it? Yeah, 12 and 19 is definitely looking like a definite record for this team. For Casey Richards, I'm Cody Sherritt. Thanks for watching.